Your employees are the key to your business. Here's how to get the most out of them. Trust is both earned and given when it comes to the employer and the employee. Both sides have to give trust. That is key. There's a lot that a leader has to do often to start that relationship and do things that are trustworthy. They have to build a structured company, a company that doesn't fail, a company that is consistent. But there are times when employees come onto a team and they have their own personal lenses and fears and worries, and sometimes they have to push through those and see practically what is being done for them by that employer and give their trust to that employer in return. Trust is a two-way street. It's when the heart of the employer and the heart of the employee are both dedicated to building a great company together. It just means we may disagree and we may not see things the same, and that's okay. We still have to trust each other. And sometimes within your role as a leader, you have to say, this is how we're gonna do it. And then the employee sometimes has to say, I'm gonna go with you because I trust you and I don't even like it. This is not easy to do and it's certainly not fast. This is a collaborative commitment of care where the employer consistently demonstrates care over and over and over for the employees. And where the employees consistently see that care, they have to give that trust even when there are places they don't believe in or when they don't see where that company or that employer is going. They have to lean into that trust, just believing that the employer is gonna do what's right and best for them and for the company. Leaders have to demonstrate their trust to their team. You find that in leaders who stay close to their company. That is, they don't start to float away and become distant from what's happening. They know what's happening. You're also gonna see great leaders making sacrifices for their team. When the team member needs them, the employer, that leader, has to give up their time. They have to give up their resources, give up what they want to do, and they have to prioritize the team's need and lead them, give them direction, help them understand clearly what is expected of them. So in those situations, as the employer, you may find you're giving and sacrificing more to earn the trust of the employee, but that's the way it should be because you took the risk to start the business. The employee has to take their own risk, which is following you when they don't know where you're going. <laughs> and that is asking for some form of trust, but the employees do not have to sacrifice always in the same way that the employer does. Those are things you have to collaboratively talk through and make sure both sides are being cared for in the process. One practical way a leader can show continued trust to their team is by implementing recurring rhythms. Recurring rhythms are just practices that you do same time, same day on some kind of recurrence. Every Tuesday, 9 a.m., Every week we do this. Those kind of things create consistency. They cool down chaos. They create hope and a sense of knowing what's coming each week for the team members. And those kind of things start to really embed trust into relationships where you know what is expected. So knowing what's expected produces comfort and that can produce trust between leaders and their employees. <music>